guys. Well, surprise, it has been uh, more than a hot minute. I'm sitting in a parking lot, by the way. Obviously, you can tell. Car's pulling in. Since I have done a car vlog, and fun fact, I bought a new car last year at the end of April. I've never talked about it. Y'all have never seen it. So, I know I have not done one since then. And when I went to look for my car mount today, I couldn't find it. I thought for sure I had it in those bins that I keep in the back of my car. You probably saw in my old car tour and organization video, but I couldn't find them. I thought for sure it was in there, so I don't think it's under my seat. I've looked everywhere. I know my hair looks a little crazy. Um, I put it up yesterday after I did my roots and I didn't do anything to it, so that's what it looks like. So I feel like you're all like really close. Um, so while we're talking about it, Here's a little view of my car. Yes, I have a Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited. I love it. I wanted something, um, I don't know, just more what I'm used to, like a little more rugged, and but still luxury, you know? It still has nice wood and leather seats and all that. So anyway, yeah, I bought a new car <laughs> last year and it has the panoramic roof you can see there um so it's similar inside to the other one because that was the thing I was really picky I wanted the light interior and it was almost like this car was like my unicorn or something I had to go to Tennessee to buy it um because it was almost like they didn't make this combination I wanted 20 inch wheels that's what I had on the Lincoln I was set it just looks better on this car I feel like I don't like the 18s on it um I wanted white because I had seen white before. Honestly, I think any color in this car looks great. I had looked at other colors and I had black before, you guys know. Um, and it's funny because my husband's family has always purchased white cars. And what's funny is now he bought a new car last year and he, it's black. <laughs> so we switched. At one time we both had black cars and then I have this one now that's white. But I wanted the light interior and it was almost like it didn't come with all the features I wanted. So it's a Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited with the luxury two package I think and the um, tow package in case we got another boat or something we've talked about it and something else that I wanted oh navigation it has pretty much everything I was thinking about getting the um, gosh what was I can't think of the trim package is now like I said that's been almost a year ago but it almost looked too pretty fancy and I liked this package but then you had to add all the other stuff to it um, because I wanted it still to look a little rugged. I missed having that ruggedness and it sits up a little higher. I was just over the Lincoln. It just didn't feel like me anymore. Years ago I had a Montero, the great big one that they no longer make. I loved that car um, but we got rid of it because we didn't need two four-wheel drives at the time and I was back into wanting a car but Anyway, my arm is killing me holding this. I switch sides a little bit here, but this is good arm exercise, huh? So anyway, I had a couple errands to do today and I was just determined. I was like, I need to do a vlog. I haven't done one in so long. Sure enough, get my car. Looked around for that stupid car mount, but I was like, I'm not gonna mess around. I wanna go. Um, I'll just sit here, you know, real quick. And oh my God, I have to tell y'all a funny story. Well, it's not funny. It's actually had me a little depressed the last couple of days, I feel like. And not depressed, but like, I don't know, a little bit, I was telling my husband that yesterday. So, y'all know, um, if you watched my Louis Vuitton unboxing, when was that? Like, the second week of, or the first week, first or second week, anyway, of the month of January. And I said, oh, I'm actually expecting another package today. Well, that was on a Friday, I know, when I filmed that. The package, you know, I had to sign for it get a notice from UPS. Oh, it's not going to be delivered till Monday. So I got that pack. I ordered it on the 9th, got it on the 16th. Today is the 31st and I still don't have that package. In and amongst all that stuff, I even filmed this video, filmed an unboxing video. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet because I'll probably still do a haul and show you. So I'm out the money and I'm out of bag almost a month, you know, three plus weeks later. And when it came to me, I filmed a video. I, there was a crazy thing with the whole it coming to me anyway. It was a little odd, but the bag looked perfect. I do that video and sure enough, when I'm showing it up and the lights hitting it, I see a little spot on it. I'm like, well, that's weird. I mean, if I wouldn't have done that unboxing video, I may have not 
noticed it came with a flaw, like it was defective. So I sent it back, guess what? Gets lost in transit somewhere. Well, of course, you know, Louis Vuitton pays for the UPS label and all that. Sure enough, when I kept watching it, that they didn't have the bag back, because when I'd sent it, I said, just, you know, I just want to do an exchange. Just send me another one, because I still want the bag. Okay, we're gonna have to maybe try this. So, I still wanted the bag. It was supposed to be there. It was second day air, UPS. I sent it on a Monday. It was supposed to be there Wednesday. Well, of course, Wednesday the 25th, I noticed tracking stops. Oh, it's gonna be now delivery changes the next day, and then the next day. And Friday, they still don't have it. So, on Saturday, I call talked to UPS, talked to Louis Vuitton. Of course, they said it's up to Louis Vuitton because they're the original shipper, which I totally get. So, they have to file a claim. I talked to Louis Vuitton yesterday again. Long story is I still don't have a bag. I'm out money, which the money's not even a big deal because obviously I'm spending the money on the bag. I just want the bag, but I can't believe it's been this long and who knows how much longer it might be. And, you know, a lot of you are like, oh, that's why I don't buy things online or whatever. Well, this is probably, this makes my fifth Louis Vuitton handbag. I've sold one. I think fifth. I've purchased them all online. I have purchased probably ten items, eight to ten items from Louis Vuitton online. Never had a problem. Packaging is always pristine. Um, never had an issue at all until lately. And then, of course... I start like looking into it and it sounds like, you know, this is more common than I think. You know, the UPL steals stuff and your box comes jacked up looking because my original box did come a little weird looking. And looking back on it, I would have, I should have refused it and not, but I could see that it was in there. It was just a weird looking box. It wasn't like any of the other boxes I usually get. And, um... I don't know why I'm feeling the need to tell you guys this. I guess because, you know, you're probably like, oh, where's the other unboxing? And because it's so crazy. And me and my husband are the only ones that, you know, know about it. I'm telling him. And it's just, it's customer service in general. And Louis Vuitton customer service has been awesome. But it's customer service in general lately of getting things I'm ordering. I'm not getting them. And then the customer service is crazy. It's like, what is up with me ordering things that then I can't get and it ends up, up to be like this big debacle? I mean, it just keeps happening. It happened from Ikea. It happened, you know, I ordered two things and paid that crazy shipping, you know, and I had to cancel that because of some big ordeal about not getting it. And I mean, there was something else I feel like too. I swear I think it's been like two or three things that it's like, okay, am I not spent, meant to have these things? That's why I asked my husband. I'm like, okay, now I feel like, is that bag going to feel like tainted or something? You know, should I go pick it up in store? What should I, because like I said, the nearest store is like an hour and a half away. And, you know, he's like, no, just have them send you new and I'm sure it'll be fine. You know, whatever. But, oh my God, it's been crazy. So anyway, let me run in the store. I have to exchange or not exchange, I'm returning some shoes. I bought two pair of shoes, one I'm wearing. You'll either have already seen them on my Instagram, but maybe I'll show you in this video too. Super cute. You can't get the color in store though, so order them online. The other ones, I'm really disappointed because they were Vans, and I love Vans, but these don't fit like my other pair that, I mean, they're like my go-to slip-on when I'm leaving the house. Um, I wanted a different color, and these don't feel right at all. They slip them down my feet. There's no way I could wear a smaller size, so. Anyway, I'm returning those. I'm going to run into Ulta real quick too. So I'll chat back up with you here in a minute. So here are the shoes I was talking about. They're a nude color. I feel like sometimes they look tan and sometimes they look gray. Let me, that's like direct sunlight. Let me see if I can. I mean, that's pretty true to color. Aren't they cute? And they're really comfortable too. I just wore them. They come with white shoestrings as well. So I just wore them for the first time. And they are super comfy. Love the nude color. I had been looking for something like these. They just kind of came out of the blue. So I'll link them in the video. So I'm actually going to do a little Sephora haul here. Because... So I was going to do this on my channel, but... I feel like some other things fell through, so there's no sense in waiting. And I've just been having this sitting here. So this is a Sephora gloss. It looks a little more nude than I was anticipating. 
It's in the color Nude Blush. So I'm gonna try that out. Um, my favorite perfume, I got a little sample, sample the Erin uh, Amber Musk. I love these because I take these on vacation. So that will be perfect. I wanted this to keep in my purse. This is the, um, I think this is limited edition, the Pro. Um, and it has a mirror inside the Blotterazzi. I like the little, the silver casing. They have other ones too. And then I bought these because um, you guys know I like these because they're in the little travel, you know, already, you know, in their individual little um, pouches. God, I can't talk here. And this is just their, um, this is in some new packaging, but it's the AHA um, peel pads. I thought I would try this, and I swear if this doesn't work, I'm giving up on purple shampoos because I've tried about every one known to man, and they don't work on me. So this is the Dry Bar Blonde Ale Brightening Shampoo. I thought I would try that, and I already um, looked at this, actually. It's really dark. Let me know if you guys have used it. This was new, um, at least I think so, and I want to try this, the Bye Bye Pores Primer, and I like that it was oil-free. Uh, poreless skin perfecting serum primer. So I'm gonna try that. So my phone died. The storage is full. I'm gonna have to get a new phone anyway because that one's been just messing up. Typical, you know, when they come out with the new one. So I should get the seven, even though I didn't really care about getting the seven. So anyway, back to it. Um, they gave me a Prada candy. I can't stand this, so this will be thrown away or go in a bin that I do other little giveaways. So, speaking of giveaways, stay tuned. Have one at the end of this video. How cute is this? Little baby hourglass diffuse light powder. I'm almost out of my large size, and sometimes I just really want a small one when I go on vacation. Um, so, I decided to get this one. And then, let's see, is that it? Yeah, I think that was... I've already shown you all though. This, I'm really excited to try this. This is um, the new from Drunk Elephants, the TLC um, Baby Facial. It's basically a resurfacing, you know, AHA, BHA. What's it say down here? 25% AHA, 2% BHA. So really looking forward to trying this. Let me know again if you guys have tried any of this. Hopefully my camera didn't cut out and everything. Uh, we got everything. So, speaking of hauls, um, Elf is kind enough to send me things once in a while. Some things I already have, or sometimes the colors are just going to be off. So, uh, that's in this case. I know some of these I won't use or I already have in one case. Um, this right here, I already have that. So, I'm doing a giveaway with all these. So, this is a highlighter. It's actually a really gorgeous highlighter. You get a blush palette, a lipstick, two brushes, this is a uh, under eye setting powder, and then these two, um, this is another highlighter, but it's in a darker color, and then this eyeshadow trio, trio, which I believe I've had that before as well. So anyway, there will be a link below where you can enter the giveaway. It's just easier on me if I do it that way. I know sometimes I do comments, whatever, um, but sometimes it's just easier for me to pick a winner if you follow the link below. So anyway, um, just follow the instructions and the link below and you'll be able to enter to win this elf. And I usually do giveaways on my Facebook page or my Instagram, so be sure to follow me there. But once in a while I'm gonna throw them in videos too where I'm not gonna announce it. It'll just be like this, you need to watch and there's a giveaway. So anyway, everything will be listed in the description box below. Okay, so I'm holding my really big camera. I just wanted to say bye. The lighting is totally crazy, so it's giving me all kind of lines and craziness, but since my phone just quit working, I'm just gonna do a quick uh, bye, and let me know if you wanna see more vlogs or videos kind of just, you know, real casual like this, and we'll see you next time.